A few weeks ago I received an invitation to speak at a conference of the Uranian Urological Association. I was invited by Dr. Mehrad and she is the Ayuga representative in Iran for the special interest group pelvic floor rehabilitation. Well, I took the opportunity and said yes straight away because I think it's wonderful if we can speak at a monodisciplinary conference about pelvic floor rehabilitation and the treatment options. And I'm really, really excited because this is my first YouTube film and the first blog I've written, but I've been planning my YouTube channel and uh, website for, well, at least nine months, so today my baby will be born. and. I just call this Pelvic News Channel because I'm in Pelvic News Channel I will report on the conferences I visit, uh, scientific research and review uh, relevant books. So I hope you like it. If you like it please subscribe to the button below. And today I will, I will talk about the conference in Iran. Of course this was a conference for urologists with a lot of subjects on treatment options like uh, medication, operation techniques. It was still very interesting to visit. And I particularly like the panel on chronic pelvic pain. Uh, different physicians had a lecture and conservative therapy was mentioned. Although I think it would have been even better if a pelvic physiotherapy would have had a place in the panel as well because, for instance, the AAU, the European uh, Urology Association, the guidelines, they report that in the holistic management, the multidisciplinary pain management, uh, the conservative therapy like pelvic physiotherapy is definitely part of it. I also like the lecture on the new terminology on the update of the terminology of the International Continent Society, the ICS. And I really think this is an important topic for all conferences because we all need to report and use the same terminology. Standardizing is so important, especially when you want to report a research outcome. We all need to speak the same language. So all lectures were 15 minutes, so for my lecture I really had to make choices in what to discuss because 15 minutes, well, it's not a lot and I can talk for hours. So I choose to talk about stress urinary incontinence, overactive bladder syndrome and pre and post-op uh, prostatectomy in relation to urinary incontinence. Um, and I try to make it state of the art, so use guidelines, talk about what we do as a pelvic physiotherapist. So I came to Iran for my lecture, but then it was also nice to meet with urologists from all over the world and talk and discuss and well talk about uh, pelvic floor rehabilitation and ask how if there's any pelvic rehabilitation in their country. As in all uh, conferences. There was a gala dinner as well and this was quite different from the gala dinners I recall and we started with a quite a funny sketch by two urologists and although it was spoken in Farsi I thought it was about ergonomics for the physician so how to keep your posture uh, how to keep a good posture and prevent for instance low back pain and it looked a lot like physiotherapy and there was some really nice Iranian music as well and a comedian and the comedian he was really funny and in the end we went to dinner at 11 o'clock and that's definitely a difference between Holland where I'm from because in Holland we usually have dinner at Six for me it's seven, half past seven, but eleven o'clock is pretty late. But it was wonderful. As a conference I was really happy to visit some places in Tehran as well. And they were just amazing. Beautiful palaces 
and a magnificent jewelry museum. I had never seen so many gems all together. And this jewelry museum is located in the vault of the bank and I know why it's in the vault. It's just amazing. For instance, there's one globe, four, uh, 34 kilos of gold, and the countries are inlaid with rubies, the oceans with emeralds, and Iran, England and France, I think in diamonds. Besides this globe, uh, there are so many crowns and other jewels and items for day-to-day -day living covered in diamonds and rubies and emeralds and whatever. So definitely go and visit this museum if you're in Tehran. Well, I really hope you like this uh, video. If you do, please consider uh, subscribing. And I hope to see you next time.